<laughs> you were more animated there. B.B. Shea was during the commercial break. We hyped up over here. They had a commercial on television for the Bojangles uh, Bowberry Sausage Biscuit. So the Bowberry Biscuit is uh, blueberry and icing on mm. top, you know, and they've wedged some sausage in there. <laughs> yeah. And B.B. Shea said, I've tried that already, and I'm getting boned up just thinking about it. <laughs> Literal words. That's yeah. so direct, good. It's a direct it's, quote. It was oh. almost... <laughs> B.B. Shea's reaction to seeing that on TV was almost like Drew Carey's reaction to seeing fish. Yeah, that's true. The sphere that's in Las Vegas. Very true. If you missed that yesterday, now, Drew Carey seeing fish, when he described that, you won't soon forget it. I saw fish at the sphere this weekend. <laughs> never saw a fish, never did, didn't know a fish tune, and they f- blew my minds off so hard. It was like being edged for four days straight. <laughs> Yeah. And then right before the face melting climax at the end on the fourth day, an angel comes down from heaven, Gabriel, and he shoots <laughs> heroin in your arm. <laughs> and he says, Good luck now, <laughs> and he leaves. And then you have an orgasm for 15 minutes while your eyeballs fall out of your head. That's what B.B. Shea said about That's the exactly what it's Bowberry like. sausage biscuits, <laughs> yes. which sounds awful to no, me. Those terrible. Those they flavors. put the icing on there, too, and it oh. mixes the sweet and savory. Oh, it's amazing, uh, dude. Icing with uh, sausage? Yes. Is the icing on the meat? Yes. It's icing on, on the, the meat. meat. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, it's so good. I don't like the sound of that. No, no that's wild. You couldn't name I don't like that. that. I don't, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, B.B. Shea, but how many did you order? I can't say that. Man, I can't say this that. Guy it will was house multiple, a, multiples. Oh, he'll house yeah. a biscuit. Yes. I've seen that. I've seen you move. I up had there. one, and then I went back like the next day and got like three more. Did you really? Yeah, they're so good. Yeah. That, but it sounds like odd flavor combination. Yeah. But See, people but like the, sweet and savory. Yeah, the sweet and savory is perfect. Well, I thought the McGriddle wasn't going to be a good time. Yeah. I'll, I'll, give, it, I'll you know? give you the blueberry biscuit mm-hmm. and the sausage. But when you add the icing, for, mm-hmm. forget it. That sounds absolutely. You ever put syrup on bacon? Like it's the same that exact is good. thing. Yeah, that, that is, is fantastic. Good. Perfect. Ugh, That's yeah. the same thing. How am I the fattest person alive? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know, but you are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you got Sheer that. determination. I, mean, I don't know how you made it, but you did. It's got to be genetics. <laughs> because I don't, I don't know what this stuff. Like, I wouldn't ever eat any of that. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know. Th- you might I, as well, though. I, I agree with you that it sounds awful, but then I didn't think the McGriddle would be good, and it is. It's that syrup I'll, with the sausage or the bacon. I'll give you syrup. But, but people icing. often put you know, icing. Yeah. sausage next to their pancakes. That's right. That, that's that's not that's that right. big of a leap. Yeah, I don't mind if the sausage and the syrup mix you have it with the pancake. We're talking about icing. We're talking, We're talking about, about icing. icing. <laughs> We're talking about icing. Icing on a biscuit Icing is better sausage. than syrup. It's just sweet. I mean, it's yeah. just it's the same just thing. Don't isn't it? go it's the together. Same thing, isn't it? How prominent is the blueberry flavor? It's pretty prominent. I mean, I mean, it takes up the both top See, and the bottom. That's my bun. problem with it. That's really? why it's not just the sweet. Like icing and syrup to me are almost the same, but blueberry on sausage, I don't like that. See, flavor. to me, syrup is a maple taste. Icing is just a whole different sugary. Taste. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I just, I mean, I can even handle like blueberry pancakes with sausage but it's the mm-hmm. the icing part when he said that i just mm-hmm. know well you know that you brought up an interesting point though blueberry pancakes have been around for Forever. generations Forever. and I, tons yeah. of people probably put sausage on their blueberry yeah, that's, probably, that's, that's how they got it so probably. That's it is. yeah that's probably right um with, oh I, I i blew bb shay's mind i told him i didn't like uh, chicken and waffles i don't that's like that's still crazy to i me. can't stand that i find it overrated yeah i've only had it like once or twice and um i just I just didn't like it at all. I think too many people are trying to do it, but if you yeah. go to a spot that like specializes in it, mm-hmm. like going up the way here, it's amazing. I, that's it the place I tried it. I hated it. It's such an amazing experience. Yeah, I just thought it was just such overkill and just, I just didn't like it a bit. It's bland and nothing but sugar. And um, what was it? What else did I did not like? Oh, the hot honey. I don't like that either. Oh, that's great too. A hot honey on some pizza now? Yeah, baby. Mm. It's too spicy for me. <laughs> I told you that, didn't I? I said, yeah. spicy, that's spicy. too spicy. I, it's just a... <laughs> ah, ah, I can't... No, it's just too spicy. This is food-related as well. Uh, controversy at the national at the International Cheese Awards. Uh, the International Good Food Cheese Awards were taking place, and one of the cheeses that was going to win was a blue cheese from Climax Foods, which B.B. Shea Ooh, almost, yeah. he almost climaxed. <laughs> talking about that biscuit. Uh, it was a blue cheese, but at the eleventh hour, its competitors pointed out, "This is a vegan cheese. <laughs> this no is dairy. Dairy. vegan. There's no dairy in this cheese." Where did the? Um, I'm glad you asked. Uh, product come from? Soy, crushed yeah. nuts like cashews and macadamias, 
and vegetable oils and a coconut oil mixed together to make the whatever the solution is that makes the cheese. And so the Washington Post reports that one of the competitors came forward to say, that's vegan. That's vegan cheese. There's no Ooh, dairy in that. Snitches. So Man. the vegan cheese finalist said, so what? It's cheese. It tastes just like cheese. How do you define cheese? Ooh. It has to have dairy. So is it in the, uh, it the, is. The, the, the bylaws? It is. That's right. Executive Director Sarah Werner said, this is an imposter, and we cannot give the award Ooh. to a vegan cheese. It's the first time in the 14-year history that anyone has brought forward a vegan cheese, and they felt duped and were upset with this group. If you go to your little trading post, Kelly, do they have vegan cheese back they there? They do. I mean, oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> they do. They do have vegan cheese. In fact, I was in there the other day. Oh, I mean, cheese is just dairy that sort of curdles to some degree, right? I have no idea what cheese is. I, I couldn't tell you sure what it is. But this yeah. all, it yeah. has to have milk in it, according to this yeah. group. I went in there the other day to get a, um, I like a protein bar that they have in there. And I buy them a lot. <laughs> and they didn't have the brand I liked. But next to it was a vegan bar. And I decided, I had it in my hand for a long time, decided not to get it. You're still looking at it. I was probably. <laughs> He's still there. <laughs> I stared at it for about yeah. 20 minutes, and I decided not to get it. It was the same day I knocked those old ladies out of the way for that salad. <laughs> they Fortune, kept, they kept Fortune favors the bold. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> they kept eyeing me, you know, even on other aisles, mm. you know. I was, oh, he knocked over those little old ladies. Now he's standing in front of the protein bars. I stood in front of those vegan protein bars for a long time. But I think that's a good endorsement of the cheese, though, because mm-hmm. it fooled the people who were mm-hmm. pros at tasting cheese. Well, true. Yeah. Sarah Werner said she was asked by the folks from Climax Foods who ratted us out. She would not say oh, mm-hmm. which competitor mm-hmm. told on them for being a Kill no. Kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Looking right at you. <laughs> Looking right at you. Uh, one person anonymously commented as a cheesemaker, 30 years in the cheesemaking business, this is a fraud. We are not. This is a travesty. This is a travesty. (laughs) And they say this has really taken a bite out of the whole cheese game because this particular contest now, they feel like, how did that cheese get this far? They're very upset by it. It's in shambles. I haven't seen anything this, uh. Maybe the best marketing they ever did. Well, This is as controversial as the chess guy who put the anal beads up his butt. <laughs> yep. Remember that guy? Yep. Guy put anal beads up his butt to give him buzz when he was supposed to move a pawn or whatever mm-hmm. it was, yes. Uh, the the awards wound up going on as planned. Who won? And the does not say who won. It's a great, it's a great question. It doesn't even say who won. But the vegan cheese folks says, um, this is wrong. This is absolutely we'll wrong. We'll be back. We'll be back. You haven't exactly. seen The Last of Us. Exactly. Others said, if anyone here had done something that effing stupid to give vegan cheese an award, I would have been out of the <laughs> cheese-making game forever. I, I think they deserve some sort of award. I mean, they yeah. got right to the finals. Yeah, they got they right made to the it. finals. Exactly. They, they did make it. I agree. And I bet. I wonder if you even tasted it, would you? You wouldn't even know it was Probably, vegan. Uh, clearly not. But if it made it that far, I know. But it was. It did spark a lot. Some war. man in his Gruyere got mad and started snitching. <laughs> You're like a Gruyere. <laughs> I like a Gruyere. Yeah. So does Dave. Yeah. You know what Dave done? Was that? Dave Aiken will take a uh, a burger and he'll put a Gruyere in the middle of it and then cook middle it on, the in the middle of the patty. Uh, juicy Lucy. Yeah, is that what you call it? Yes, yeah, Juicy Lucy. <laughs> you two should do a podcast and call it. You should call it Juicy Lucy. Juicy Lucy. That's what it should be called. <laughs> How am I the fattest person? <laughs> I don't know what you are. Building <laughs> sheer <laughs> will and determination. <laughs> and it's got to be genetics. <laughs> you got it. You've done it. <laughs> Of course, we've met your family. I, uh, they, all, they all seem... I eat chicken every day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. <laughs>